This is my eighth flight this holiday. This time flying from La Paz to Urhuni to start exploring the salt flats in Bolivia. Yes, don't be fooled by the writing on the wall. We are really in Bolivia. And Uyuni is in the southwestern part of Bolivia, on the edge of these huge, huge, huge salt flats, which we are going to four-wheel drive across. So that should be quite exciting. The hotel we booked into was the Tanita Hotel, and it was really, really a cute hotel. I really, really liked it a lot. And um, uh, this was um, where the tour group put us. This is the first time I'm going on a tour. Um, after doing my research, I've gone with Toucan Tours. So, yep, time to check out the room and settle in and get ready for dinner. this amazing hot apple cider which tasted like apple pie in a glass and the pizza I had spicy llama pizza absolutely delicious so waking up early having breakfast at the hotel we then um, were taken into the little town of Uyuni itself to um, buy some water for the for the trip because apparently on the salt flats you get very very thirsty so um, we were all going to stock up with water um, just had a quick look around the market <laughs> Um, the, the, the butchery section of the market reminded me so much of when I lived in Tanzania. It um, brought back some really good memories. first stop after the town of Uyuni was the old train cemetery 
and these trains, train wrecks go back many, many years. Apparently it used to be a big mining area and these trains were used for transporting minerals to the ports in Chile. Um, it's a, a great place to take photographs and we were told not to um, stand or climb on the trains but yeah I suppose you can't tell some people not to climb on trains because they just going to climb on them. Time to head to the small town of Colchani, I think that's how you say it, to see where they um, iodize the salt and process it. So we are like in 10 more minutes from here on the salt run. So that's why so we are stopping here. So to see how the people are processing the salt, uh, how the people are working with the salt. And if we export the salt to the country, so we are just ingesting it, yes. And why the people process the salt? And exactly, I will explain everything again here on this place. So we are going to consider the biggest salt flats in the world, right? That it's a really salt flat. It's more than twelve thousand square kilometers. This place. Just only people are working on the salt flat, huh? So just one thing is here, and that it's. After rain season, people are working on salt flat. Okay, guys. So look into her now. So how do you sell into small bags of the salt? So this is very easy, right? So if we can see that, that it's a lot of practice. So just only people are working here. In the afternoon when this place is empty. Because in the morning, uh, so they are they have two other kind of business. They are selling the small souvenirs outside. Uh, and those are the same people selling them. Uh, yeah? But just only in the afternoon, uh, when the people came to work here, so this place is very full. And that's why so we have different spots uh, with fire. Because they are selling the small parts and uh, Oh, the small fans of the salt, yeah? So we have Pasando no Grande. Don't bring me down. Don't start to put me there. We're almost touching the horizon. salt flats in Bolivia are supposed to be the largest in the world and um, I think tourists come from all over there were so many people I mean I thought it was going to be this isolated place well I suppose it is isolated I just never um, imagined the sheer amount of tourists would we would be around checking it out. So you can see here, this is where um, water is 
bubbling to the top underneath the salt flats in this area. Um, yeah, as I said, these are supposed to be the world's largest salt flats. I think they said something like um, 10 and a half thousand square kilometers of salt flats, and it is supposed to be about 10 billion tons of salt over there, which is a lot of salt. But yeah, the water bubbling through was quite, quite amazing. Next stop was to the original salt hotel for lunch. Everything is made of salt. The walls, the tables, everything. And they had all these countries, flags flying, and I was heartbroken. South Africa was not represented. Apparently some years ago they did a Dakar type rally over here over the salt flats, which was quite successful. After lunch, we headed out um, into the salt flats to try and find a spot without any other tourists so that we can take our funny pictures, as that is apparently one of the things you do on the salt flats. Okay, cool. Oh, African ones would be cool. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I know now. Okay. 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 Was actually quite mind blowing. Oh my goodness, it was like no rehearsal. You were just having to try and do something extraordinary to try and get the best shot possible. I think it's more entertaining taking pictures of people trying to take the pictures. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs>
getting the funny pictures just right was not easy either the object in the foreground was blurry or the one or the person was blurry but um, the actual the guides and the drivers are obviously very very experienced at this and they were really really good at taking amazing pictures silly pictures we headed out to some place called fish island um strange name for yeah to call an island in the middle of salt flats but apparently the salt flats used to be part of the pacific ocean and because of plate tectonics the um land got lifted up and that's how the salt um, flats were formed and there is this rocky island covered in these giant cactuses and you can also see on this island um, fossilized coral so that's the proof that this was once part of the Pacific Ocean and then I saw the South African flag and got very excited. We drove out to another isolated spot in the salt flats. Um, the wind was quite icy and waited for the sunset so that we could see it setting over the salt flats. And a huge thanks to Cook for my first ever time-lapse video, which he set up for me. hostel for the night which was also made of salt and 
entertained our souls with song and chords. Yeah. <laughs>